what we'll do now is we'll go back to the original CAD drawing and uh, enable the original features and incorporate those into the same surface and we'll see how it looks after doing that. So I'll close this view down. Now we're back in the CAD model, I'll turn the layers on that I think we need. I'll make the Bosma Bank layer current. I'll select the concrete layers. I'm not going to use the contours because they will contain far more points than we would need. What we're going to try and do is just try and create the original surface because obviously the contours are actually secondary information. Obviously sometimes all that will be available are contours so you'll have no choice but we're going to try and use the original data if we can. So I'll use the fence as well. Hiding down control, selecting these, verge and wall. So if I make those other layers active can't make the current layer active obviously that's why it beeped so I press OK and there we go we see the survey back again so what we'll do is we'll now regenerate the points but this time using the strings so we've got to turn the levels off there we go so now I'll repeat the points from CAD process but this time using only the features I create myself a new coordinate block with some points from features Camera that, view back cloths, CAD, and zoom to extents. So they have the features. So now to generate the points, you go back to the tools menu, come down to by rectangle, select everything. Now I could obviously use the individual mode to, to click each line one at a time, but obviously we've got lots of short straight lines here, so I'll be here forever. Um, I'm going to use a single code because I'm only interested in recreating the DTM, not necessarily the survey. Reset it to a round point number for the point numbering. Press OK. OK, so that gives us all the features. Come back in. As we can see, we've got lots of very short, straight features. So that's where N Force is traced over those little short, straight lines, creating the features that we now see in front of us. If I model those, those points from features again. And select that. Press OK. Create the DTM. Duplicate points under problem with Enforce. The first one that comes to be modeled are the ones that will just be stored in the model for reference purposes. So OK to that. Now trim up some triangles. If I go to the 3D view to have a look at it, we can see now we've got nice controlled forced triangles, but we're missing the infill, we're missing the spot levels, which provide the data in between them. So we'll have to delete this DTM and incorporate the two together. I'll do that by using simple copy and paste. So here are my spot levels. Copy those, right click, and I'm going to use the append option, which automatically pastes them onto the bottom. There we go see the change. Go to the camera. Now we can see the spot levels. Obviously they're not part of the DTM yet, so I'll just delete the DTM and recreate it. Obviously now we've got more duplicates because we've also got spot levels on top of the locations where those short straight lines of the features stop and start. In light, as I said, duplicate points aren't necessarily an issue, but with professional there are options to remove the duplicates at a later date. We'll just OK that. Trim up the triangles again. And this time, hopefully, when I go to the 3D view, yes, we have a better DTM. We still have the uh, constrained features on the banks. But obviously, in the middle of the stream, if we can't tell what's going on, we've also just got the spot levels helping fill in the detail. And that concludes generating points from CADs in light.